doing very well. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I love this. Dinner is served. Amy Lou chicken meatballs. We're trying to do the low sugar, minimal sugar. Happy Wednesday. I am heading to the gym right now. I got like a lot of brain dumping done, a lot of planning, and just a lot of figuring out the foundation of what I will be doing, if that makes sense. But anyways, it was a really productive morning. And before I knew it, it was eight o'clock and my coaching call was starting. And I was like on fire mentally, just like thinking of ideas and thinking of what I'm gonna be doing and all of this stuff. So I had to put pause on that, join the coaching call. The coaching call was great. And now it's 9.50, it just ended. I have some laundry that I've been, um, like I've been throwing in laundry and doing that, trying to take care of that. And now I'm gonna go to the gym and I genuinely, like this is so unlike me, but I'm like, ah, like I just wanna work. I wanna go and work. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing is I've got my gym bag, like all of that's taken care of. I packed a bag with me and I'm gonna go straight to a coffee shop. I'm gonna go to Intelligentsia and get some creative work done. And I'm very excited. All oh, right, <clears throat> I'm in like such a public place right now, so hopefully nobody really pays attention to me right now as I record this. But I just stopped by Erwan and I had a quick lunch. It was so good. But I'm dr gonna drive over to Intelligentsia to get some work done. I was gonna record myself having lunch, but there were way too many people around and I felt a little awkward. Let me show you what I got. I just got a couple of goodies. First and foremost, I'm so silly. I got the wrong, I thought this was Symbiotica. It's not Symbiotica. It's, as I was saying earlier, we're trying to do the low sugar, minimal sugar, actually no sh no added sugar detox. And I got these two chocolates that I looked into and the ingredients are fantastic and there's no added sugar. So this one is pure cacao and strawberry and coconut. That sounds so, so good. And the other one is just 100% dark chocolate. So I'm really happy that there's absolutely zero added sugar in both of these we're gonna try these out at home and right now i'm gonna have one of these and this also has no added sugar taste test mm. oh my god mm, 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 mm. delicious this is gonna be so good in the fridge okay i gotta go okay i did not get a chance to film at intelligentsia because i was at this communal table but also I got into the best workflow. I'm on a high from how good my workflow was. I got so much. It's not that I got so much stuff done. It's that I really went in on the project that I was doing and it was just so good. And I feel like this is going to be so big. But anyways, it's, oh my God, a 409. I have work at six. I need to do my second workout. I need to eat. I need to go home. I just have a bite for hope. Oh my God. I'm annoyed. I stopped by Whole Foods to get coconut and like I needed yogurt, a couple of other things. I used to always buy this coconut and it's like my favorite thing ever. It's so good. But it's like frozen or it tastes frozen and I really wonder if it'll thaw and it'll taste better because this is absolutely ridiculous. I used to love eating this. Anyways, I'll show you what I got when I get home but right now we're going to literally drive home so fast. I'm going to drop everything off. And then we're going to immediately dip out of the house so that I could walk outside and then come back home and literally shovel food down my throat and then go to work because I can't be late, obviously. And yeah, today's a good day. Anyways, let's, let's go. All right, I'm about to run out the door, but let me show you quickly what I got. Amy Lou chicken meatballs. These are so good. I This is my second time buying this flavor. Sea salt and cracked black pepper. It's actually really good. The 
coconut which i really hope tastes better once it's in the fridge for a little bit i got eggs i needed eggs i got my favorite strauss yogurt the best for my smoothies and then i also picked up my second favorite yogurt which is siggy's i got the low sugar one since you know we're trying to cut back on our added sugar intake i really wanted the coconut one but that one had i think i don't know if it was 11 grams of added sugar or six for some reason i want to say it was 11. bananas i got avocados and lemons i want to make a healthy dessert this week which um doesn't really fall under the whole no added sugar situation because that will have sugar but you know we've got to treat ourselves and i think i'll make it on like maybe sunday or something like that but i got coconut flour and the lemons for that because i want to make like a lemon loaf um i got some grape poupon this will be delicious uh, i got some water just one thing of water i got these 100 percent real chocolate mini chips i want to make some sort of healthy dessert with these so we're gonna figure that out what else did i get my favorite cereal this only has seven grams of added sugar which is still like mm, but better than nothing and you guys already saw the chocolate that i got from air one that i'm so excited to try out i'm gonna pop this in the fridge i'm literally gonna run out the door 45 minute walk literally only 45 minutes and then we're immediately coming home dinner shower get ready for work and then we're out the door to go to work not a lot of um wiggle room over here so i will chat with you later i'm finishing my walk up on the seven monica pier and i'm heading home it's honestly so cold so that sucks, but it's fine. I'm gonna go home, eat, get it to work, and that will be the day. It's literally 5.45, I need to be at work at six. I'm having my egg salad, egg avocado salad, bread, toast. Hello. It is technically Thursday, February 1st right now, because it's 12.20 and I just came home from work. Literally, like, what is this? I have to be up in like, five and a half hours lovely um well okay so i technically was supposed to have tomorrow off but magically by the grace of god this girl posted her shift so i picked it up i am gonna work at 12 tomorrow i think uh but i have a coaching call from nine till and i know it's gonna run late i know it's gonna be like till from nine till like 10 30 or something so i need to get up early and go to the gym tomorrow because I also have like this homework assignment for my coaching that is basically done, but I didn't submit it. Anyways, I need to basically get a little bit of work done tomorrow before the coaching call. So I'm going to try to set my alarm early and I'm going to wake up early, go to the gym, come back home, get some work done, have my coaching call, eat and try very hard to go to the sauna tomorrow because i didn't go today but also like i need to get my walk my second workout in tomorrow it's just gonna be like tomorrow's gonna be like a mess anyways my teapot's not going i'm very grateful that i was able to pick up today and tomorrow because i was technically supposed to have these two days off but i got blessed unfortunately it was very slow at work there were like a couple of people that came in towards the eve like towards closing time and they all stayed super late which is why I'm home so late. It is what it is. At least I got the hours in. I'm so, so excited to go to sleep. I'm making my key on and making this so that I could have some fantastic sleep tonight. But today was a really great day. I feel like I was so productive. I'm so happy with today. I genuinely am so, so, so happy outside of obviously like having to work late and I would have loved to have filled those six hours that I was at my serving job. Like, I wish I could have utilized those six hours to be at home, to work on my YouTube videos, to work on my writing, to, like, do all of those things. But it just didn't happen. And, like, today I was also supposed to write my 75 date, 27 of 75 card 
recap which I've been doing every single night but I haven't been able to stay on top of editing them so I really wish I could have done that but I if I stay if I start writing that now I know I'm not going to go to bed until like 1 30 so I'm going to do it in the morning tomorrow but anyways like I was saying I really wish that I could have spent those six hours doing all of those things but I know that eventually that is the stage of life that I will be in where I will be able to not serve and i'll be able to stay home and work from home and rely on my writing and all of that good stuff and I, I don't know i just i'm so excited for the future i know that good things are coming and yeah good morning and happy thursday it is absolutely dumping outside i I don't know if I've seen California like this in the almost six years now that I've lived here. It is insanity and I'm scared for my life. I pulled out a uh, Celsius today because I went to bed yesterday at like 1.30, did my skincare routine, got ready for bed, made my tea, and then sat on my phone for like 10, 15, okay, maybe 20 minutes. And it is 6.19, I woke up at 5 and then snoozed till 5.30. We're gonna need this today. Today's gonna be a long, busy, productive day. I'm excited to take you along. So, uh, wish me luck on my drive over to the gym. Let's hope I don't die. ago so i'm about to head out but i'm going to work i had such a good productive morning i feel so good i had a coaching call i had breakfast i tidied up a little bit but i definitely need to do a deep clean of the house and i think i'm gonna try to get to that today because tomorrow's friday and i would love to go and get a manicure tomorrow so that's kind of my plan uh when i get home from work i'm gonna have dinner get work get more work done and go on my walk and I'm praying it's not yep we're good it's not gonna rain tonight so thank God for that but anyways I shall see you after work it's almost 12 30 I started 12 30 and I'll probably be home around 5 hopefully yeah hello i just came home it is 5 50 i left at like 5 20 left work at 5 20. i stopped by um h&m because i really want to buy new earrings just like some cute simple gold hoops or just something like cute and simple and i walked out of there empty-handed uh because there was nothing cute there i'm pretty proud of myself though for you know not succumbing to to like just buying something for the sake of buying something However, I did stop by Target. Uh, I needed to get sour cream because I think tomorrow I want to make a lemon loaf. Like a healthy version, like a grain-free lemon loaf. So, I needed some sour cream for that. I needed some water. I don't think this makes me high maintenance, but honestly, the tap water at work is disgusting. And I'm planning on getting my own Costco membership and getting water from Costco moving forward because they have smart water there, like in bulk or whatever. And I've just been drinking like that Arrowhead. I don't know what it is, but I'm very particular. Not like very particular, but I'm pretty particular about my water. And I've been drinking the water at work because obviously I'm there and I just fill up my flask, especially when I finish my water that I bring from home. And it's just been disgusting. It's been bugging the crap out of me. And then Target had these back in stock. And then I also got this one to try out. This is strawberry watermelon. And I loved the blue raspberry last time. So I got one more. I was originally planning on taking my walk for my second workout of the day later tonight. But honestly, it's so cold right now. I kind of just feel like getting it out of the way now while my dinner cooks. So I'm going to put a Japanese sweet potato in the oven or in the air fryer and then just go 
listen to a podcast, get my walk done. I finished my walk. I walked like little, maybe like 55-ish minutes instead of 45. I just cut up some papaya. I had half before I went on my walk. Just like for a little boost of energy and besides it was kind of going bad so I was like, I should eat this. There he is. I'm kind of like in the middle of cleaning, making dinner. I just finished making my bison. My Japanese sweet potato is basically done. I just really feel like I need to clean the apartment. It's so messy. It's not like so messy, but it just needs a deep clean. I don't know if I'll do that today or tomorrow, but tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Yeah, I'm just unloading the dishwasher. I'm gonna turn on some music. Or actually, no, I think I'm gonna listen to a sermon. I have some laundry that I need to fold, a video that I need to edit, work that I need to do on the computer. There's just so much that I need to do and it's not even like I'm not it's not even that I'm tired because technically I should and am because I went to bed at like 1 30 woke up at 5 30 or whatever it's not that that's not the problem the problem is that it's 7 30 and there's just not enough time for everything that I like to do the everything that I want to do I'm annoyed by that and I just feel like I spent well like almost five hours at work and it was slow and sometimes I'm just like I might as well have spent those five hours doing work at home that will eventually pay off more than what I'm making right now but at the same time I need this right now I don't know I'm just like really irritated by it all like I'm irritated by how slow it is at work no that's what it that's what it is I'm irritated by how slow it is at work and I'm irritated that there's not enough time in the day and tomorrow I open so I have to be there at 11 I have a coaching call at 9 I have to obviously go to the gym before before 9 and the one thing that I'm kind of worried about is rain so it's supposed to rain like crazy for the next week so I have to like kind of work my walks around that I can't ignore the fact that it's also a difficult day <laughs> And dinner is served. of cleaning and I just finished cleaning the bathroom but I've always wanted to make one of these frozen chocolate yogurt cups things whatever I just didn't make enough chocolate unfortunately which is weird because I felt like it was plenty but I guess not I'm gonna record it on my phone so be sure to follow me on TikTok or Instagram or both so that you can see what it looks like that looked good honestly I just wish that there was more chocolate I only kept it in the freezer for like five minutes I think but I put like chunks of banana in here cinnamon coconut it's a Siggy's vanilla yogurt taste test this is the best thing I've ever had mm. I just got an idea vanilla cookies with this vanilla yogurt i put bananas cinnamon coconut the chocolate if i add vanilla like wafer cookies it's gonna be like that dessert i forgot what it's called but i've had it before and it's delicious this is insane i think i'm gonna make another one i really want to try this i figured we could try it together i got it from air one yesterday but i saw that Whole Foods sells it too. As you know, this is what day two, day three of me trying to eat things that are like no added sugar. Those dark chocolate chips have a little bit, but not too crazy. This has zero added sugar. It has a total of two grams of sugar, but zero added sugar. Taste test. Honestly, I like it. That might just be me though. This is very bitter and just 
curbs that like craving of anything sweet realistically speaking it was so dark it's really dark if you like really dark chocolate bitter chocolate this would be great highly recommend honestly like i genuinely don't want more because it's not like indulgent if that makes sense it's just very rich and it curbs that oh i want chocolate craving but anyways i think i'm gonna make another little yogurt thing because it was so good but this time i'm gonna do strawberry all right this is how i do it Melt some dark chocolate. Grab your yogurt. We're doing strawberry. I'm gonna add some frozen berries into it. Also optional, but tastes better with coconut. And just a couple of chocolate chips into the yogurt as well. Add the melted chocolate on top. I think I should add like coconut oil or something to make it melt better. Add salt. Pop it back in the freezer. All right. I love this. That looks so good. All right, let's taste test this one. But I met it myself, make myself work for you. That means not turning the I'm on to something. I do like the first one warm. Just like flavor wise because of um tasted like a pudding. This one just tastes like a fruity ice cream with chocolate. One hundred percent, ten out of ten. I just want that one. Mm. So good. just made my magnesium drink i've got magnesium in here i've got my sleepy um but but yeah honey lavender keon sleeping powder that i've been using every single night for a good night of sleep i put water in here obviously and and also powder so we're gonna have a great night of sleep cheers mm. and liquid iv <sighs> Everyone in that particular correctional facility. I was good at the job. My mental energy was spent toggling back. Alcohol was my comfort blanket. Good morning. Happy Friday. I can't believe it's Friday. I totally, I don't know why I thought it was Thursday. Good morning. I'm going to the gym. It's 6 10 right now. Um, today I have work at 11. I have a coaching call at 9. Uh, I would love to go and get my nails done tonight. And I have so much stuff that I need to do yesterday. I sat at the, at the computer after I showered and I started writing. And I tried to do a bit of computer work. It was like 10.30 and my eyes were just not, they were completely closing on me and just, I was just shutting down. So I went to bed, woke up this morning at 5.15 and just started like getting ready. Yeah, so we have a lot of stuff that we need to do today. It's going to be a long, productive, hopefully day. Definitely productive. But we're going to start our day off with a workout today and I'm going to be trying this strawberry watermelon prime drink energy drink i love the blue raspberry one it's so good and i hope that this one's not too sweet i'm kind of worried but i think it'll be good so i need to figure out what to get my nails done like what color to do i'm very excited to get my nails done i mean they still look really good but it's just like gonna be like a nice little treat Ooh, today's groundhog's day not bad honestly not bad i am paid in u.s dollars know that like <clears throat> Why do you only have to help me? I mean, maybe it has to be Google Doc page. Did you guys out there? Um, I'm on a coaching call. And then, we'll get back out there and do something else. The first video, maybe five or six shorts, two or three longs a week. The we'll get in real fast. We'll get you crystal clear on exactly all right i'm heading off to work i'm bringing an energy drink the prime prime one and my water bottle i have learned um that apparently this energy drink is not good for you it's very under it's very improperly dosed and underdosed 
and I guess the potassium in it is not good. So this is the very last one that I'm ever gonna have of Prime because we're not putting garbage in our bodies. So that is that. But anyways, I'm off to work. I will hopefully, hopefully close lunch today. We'll see. I'll see you when I'm done. My coaching call wrapped up a little bit earlier today. So I just finished up all my food, rinsed off, got myself together and we're off. So gonna listen to a podcast while I walk over there. I just came back from work. It is 3.40. I'm about to run to the sauna, get a 30 minute session in, run back home, shower, change, and go to my nail appointment, which is at five. Then after that, we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. Gonna pick up some bananas, cause mine are still green. Some protein bars. I need foil. Hello. I'm so hungry. Chomstick. I just came home from the nail salon. I rushed home after the, after the sauna. And I had 15 minutes to shower, change, and get my butt to my nail salon. I love my nails. I know they look white, but they're not. This is actually pink and bio. And then for my toes, I got Mod About You. I was gonna get Mod About You for both my hands and my toes, but I switched or changed my mind last minute because pink, uh, pink and bio is one of my favorites. It's like a very light baby pink. The Mod About You is more like a candy cane pink. And it looks better on my toes than on my hands. I wanted more neutral. You literally can't tell that they're pink. This looks white. Looks like we're gonna have a really late night because it's 7.50 and I still have not done anything. I'm listening to a really good podcast. So we're productive in that aspect. Stopped by Trader Joe's, picked up some water and a couple of other goodies. Let me show you what I got. This is one of my favorite teas. It's so good. If only my karma would focus. It's the ginger turmeric herbal tea. I got a can of albacore tuna because there's a recipe that I want to try to like, I have it in my head that I want to make. I got a couple of avocados, just two like green ones because I have them every single day. I don't want to risk running out. I got some cocoa powder because I want to bake something and I need brown sugar also but I don't know if I have some so I might I might I might already have some I got some cold brew for work tomorrow I got some mints and some gum pan soap for my bathroom bananas because mine are green watch tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and the green ones are gonna be ripe I got one envy apple because I'm craving a chopped up like na not nachos nachos chopped up apple with cinnamon honey maybe some almond butter which I really want to get some raw almond butter but I'm craving that alongside some like not alongside but like with some chocolate chips on top I feel like that would be so delicious it is actually I'm sweating buckets right now okay I need to open a door <laughs> or a window two chomsticks i normally get the jalapeno one but i figured i'd try the original whoops oh my goodness all of the bear bell protein bars because i love them i got i got a couple of the cookies and cream because i love those i just got one creamy cri no two creamy crisp I got one, two, three, four, four of the dough ones because this one's my current favorite. And then I got, no, five actually. And then I got one salty peanut to try this out because I wonder if it's good. Yeah, beat me like real life, especially after the Brits giving up. So everything's about their thing for experience. So like as much as peanut I felt raised where it is, that's not going to stop you. Like attitude, like you said, you choose happiness. Right when I'm on my best behavior, I do in the morning. I try to be present. I like that uh, it's not a religious book, but it's called. We're from California, and I, yeah. and I agree. It's a sheer proximity. <laughs> okay, I've just been tidying up the house. I just made dinner, Japanese sweet potato with chicken meatballs, gonna be super quick and easy. And then we'll have some dessert. I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for. I don't know if I want cereal or some yogurt. I don't know, but anyways, I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV while I eat. 
and yeah i hope this japanese sweet potato is good because last night when i made the japanese sweet potato it was a bad one i feel like sometimes you get good ones and sometimes you get bad ones honestly this one does not look very good but it's fine fingers crossed i'm going to douse this in ketchup of course okay so i'm going to make the same dessert that i made yesterday with the siggy's yogurt i was gonna buy those like cookies that i was talking about yesterday like the nello cookies but I didn't go to Target today, so I'm gonna try to do it tomorrow and get some. Okay, this is what we're, we're gonna do. So cinnamon, put a couple of chocolate chips. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of coconut oil into the chocolate chips to help it melt. Dinner was so good, but the Japanese sweet potato was definitely off. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's like not the right season or what it is, but sometimes they just don't they're just not as good. They are like too starchy. Yesterday, I um, cut it into way tinier pieces. That probably would have been better. No. Definitely would have been better because this is messy. But it's fine. I'm going to mash it up a little bit. And a little bit of coconut. Yesterday, I put the coconut into the yogurt as well, and I should have done that today, but you saw me struggling to mix it up, so this is what we're working with. And then, into the freezer. Curious, or I say I'm dating because I want to be in a community. Things a little quicker because two point Three things for sure. Okay. I love short kings, but I... Taste test. This is literally heaven. I so wish I had those um, vanilla cookies. That'd be so good. Good morning, I just woke up. <laughs> we have such a busy morning ahead of us. It is 6.40. I'm going to make some coffee right now. Laundry, clean up the house, meditate. I'm gonna go downstairs to do the murph like a murph workout i want to get a coffee and go on a walk and just kind of have like a little bit of a slow morning despite the chaos that i'm about to ensue on myself i want to tidy up the kitchen i just want the house to be completely perfectly spotless before i leave because this evening i'm gonna have no time and then i would love 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 to bake a lemon loaf yeah it's gonna be a busy morning let's we're not going to be doing too much talking. I'm just going to be trying to show you as much as I can of what I'm doing this morning. Just added my Kion Aminos. Uh, you can have these pre or post a workout because I'm going to do them more if I want to have these before a workout to make sure I'm hydrated. I'm having such a good morning. It's 9:30. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try to make this work. An hour and a half to get ready for work, to eat, to shower, to clean the house, to bake this lemon loaf, and I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think we I think we got this. I did a Murph at the gym, which was I did like I modified it but i did pretty good and then i ran a mile in seven minutes and 40 seconds which was absolutely insane for me because my first one that i did today i had one at the beginning of the murph and then one at the end but the first one was like nine ish and then i did 740 for the last one so i felt really good walked over to blue bottle got myself a little coffee and did a little walk now we're home i'm gonna make this lemon loaf and i will show you how i make it
Ricardo? Their personal life Scramble regardless them. of what's going on outside to, yeah. to, to validate themselves. And to I have to leave in like literally two minutes, but it's done. And honestly, it looks perfect. I'm just going to leave this. And when I come home, I will glaze it and we're gonna try it together. And I'm so excited. It looks so good. It smells phenomenal. Just came home from work. It's 6 10 right now. I need to hop into the shower and get ready. But I absolutely need to glaze this lemon loaf. And I cannot wait to try it. She looks stunning. I think that the edges are a little bit, apologies, too burned. Not burned, but like definitely should have not kept it in for as long as I did but it is what it is I hope that it's still good I'm sure that like it would be so much better taste wise if it was warm definitely didn't make enough glaze but I feel like it'll be sweet so I'm gonna slice these ones up I don't know why I'm gonna put coconut on it well it is technically a coconut lemon loaf Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Hopefully she tastes as good as she looks. All right, well, clearly the lemon loaf was a hit since half of it is gone. Hello, I had a lovely, 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 lovely evening. I just came home from dinner and I'm about to make my little drink. my Kion drink and I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired, gonna wake up early, edit, get some work done tomorrow morning. It started raining on the walk home, but fortunately I brought my handy dandy umbrella, so that was good. Also stopped by and got gelato. Haven't had gelato in so long and it was wonderful. But yeah, feel good. I had steak for dinner. It was a great night. I feel content and satisfied. Sunday. It is 8.30 right now. I've been sitting at my desk and kind of just like jotting down my day and making a couple of plans as well as writing. I'm writing my day 30 of 75 hard recap. Oh, by the way, I woke up at 7. I woke up at 7. I slept in this morning. I feel so rested, so I'm really happy about that. Actually, it was like 6.50, but anyways, I did go to bed at like 12, so that's that. Let me get back on track. I was taking a look at my schedule and my plans for the day. Is it raining? And I realized that it's gonna rain today. It's gonna rain pretty hard in the evening. I don't want to be walking outside in that kind of rain. I was planning on spending this whole morning editing a video, but I think I'm going to go on my walk now, get my 45 minutes of walking in, and then come back home, get a little bit more work done, and then we're gonna go to the gym. And after the gym, we shall go and work from a coffee shop. I'll probably go and grab lunch first and then we'll go work from a coffee shop, but that's gonna be my day. I just wanna get as much work done as humanly possible and I have to study my, for my NASM today. So I'm gonna be heads down trying to avoid my phone as much as possible as well. But I'm in the mood to have a little bit of my lemon loaf. I have some coffee here, so I just feel like gonna be delicious this way and for whatever reason the thought of warming it up just hit me so I think I'm gonna do that I just got ready I'm about to go on my walk I hope that it doesn't start dumping rain while I'm out there it looks freezing and the trees are blowing so hard. It's gonna be so windy, but I'm gonna listen to a good podcast. I have layers, I have a long sleeve shirt, I've got a sports bra, I've got a hoodie, I'm gonna put on a jacket. I'm gonna go walk around Santa Monica and then after I need to stop by Target to get some tampons because yesterday 
I was doing a Murph. Did I tell you about my Murph yesterday? I need to tell you about my Murph yesterday. I don't know if I told you. I'll tell you about it later, but yesterday I started my period, so that's that. Did I mention it's day 31 of 75 hard? Because if I didn't, it's day 31 of 75 hard. came back from my walk it was so nice i listened to podcast i'm still listening to it i'm not done but it's mona band on learning how to meditate it's on the skinny confidential it's really good i stopped by target to buy some tampons these are the ones that i always get by honey pot because they're organic cotton etc and then i got a couple of celsius's i'm gonna have one now before my cardio session i just got two and I got a water. I need to actually, I just realized I'm out of toilet paper. So pit stop yet again. I'm going to pack up my bag, like with my laptop, my notepad, like all of the stuff that I need for the coffee shop. So that way I could just go there right after the gym and I don't have to like head back home. I was debating on going to the sauna today but i just literally have so much computer work that i need to do and the sauna closes at 5 p.m today which is so frustrating like why like make it a little i feel like weekends are the time where people have more time on their hands so why would you not make the sauna or like the gym open a little bit later like five is just way too early it's really annoying anyways i'm gonna head out finished at the gym i used some of these cleansing wipes for my face i changed sort of i just put on actually i just took my sports bra off because i was so sweaty and i don't want to get acne on my back from wearing the sports bra all day and then i just put on this denim jacket and i'm gonna wear a beanie since my hair is kind of like icky but i want to keep it down and yeah we're gonna go get some lunch and then we're gonna go and get a lot of studying and a lot of work done so let's go let's go to Erwan for lunch. Secured the goods. Lunch courtesy of Erwan today. Yum. <laughs> I'm back home. I've had such a great and productive day. I'm going to spend the rest of the day or night actually because it's six um, Just getting some more work done. Honestly, I'm just gonna edit a video. So I stopped by Air one for lunch went to Intelligentsia after and Studied actually the whole time I was planning on working on my project and a couple of other things, but I ended up just studying for my NASA, which was, in my opinion, a good choice. Um, I got just lunch at Air One, and then I also got like this chomp stick. It was a venison one, and it was really good. And then I also got these two drinks to try out, and I'm pretty excited to try them out. The only thing is that it has caffeine, so I probably shouldn't have this now, even though this is for focus. Anyways. I'm about to make some dinner. I also stopped by Trader Joe's because I needed toilet paper and water. And I ended up buying a bunch of these, a bunch more actually, because I just went there the other day, of these Barbell Bars because I tried this one out today and it tastes like a Snickers and I'm just like completely obsessed. And I also got a little bag of salad so that I could have that for dinner. Except I feel kind of dumb because I don't know why I didn't get anything to put on my salad. Like, I just got the greens, and I only have avocado at home. So it's going to be, like, a really boring salad. Like, I should have gotten some tomatoes or cucumbers or, like, some cheese. But I have absolutely nothing, so it will literally be a very boring salad.
Yeah, well, here's dinner. I added some apples into it. Looks good. Good enough. The yogurt is so good. I will have 10 of these. I'm gonna go shower and edit my video for the rest of the night. Because he made fun of me, but you guys, I love a gift shop. Hold on to, and I thought about it all week and for two months. I'm having a little bit of a self care night because I'm not doing very well. Um, so. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes while I tidy up the house. And to the enemy, that you may be under attack, but you are. It is 10. I'm editing my video, and apologies for like my weird comment earlier about how I wasn't doing well. It's not that I'm not doing well, I'm doing totally fine. I don't know what it is. I just got like hit. I think it's just because I'm on my period. I just got hit with like bad, not a bad mood, but just like a sad mood. I've been like feeling very down all evening. I think I mentioned this in a past vlog that whenever I'm feeling frustrated, whenever I'm feeling overwhelmed, whenever, whenever I'm feeling any type of way that's not positive, that's not good, I just... I want to escape and I want to go to the gym and I just want to zone out. Yeah, so that's literally what I did. I was so pissed off about dinner. Like that really pissed me off and I think that triggered me. I honestly think that triggered me into not having a good night. Honestly, no, that's not even what triggered me. I think what triggered me was when I was at Intelligentsia and I was working and I was in such a good flow. I was studying and I was just like doing my thing and all of a sudden they turn the lights on and they're like, we're closing in 30 minutes. You have to go. I cannot catch a break. I feel like every single time that I have a day off, I try to fit so many things into the day that I end up, I don't want to say I'm half-assing everything because it's not that I'm half-assing things. It's more so like, why can't I just have enough time to do everything that I want to do? I was just so frustrated because I like did all of the course material and it was time to do the quiz like a practice quiz and i was so excited to like take it like there's so many things that i still wanted to do and i was just so pissed off and so i think that's what like started to make me that's what put me into a crappy mood at first but i was like it's fine i'm fine i'm okay and then i really wanted to get pizza for dinner i was like i just want pizza like I, nothing else sounds good i started my period during my murph which i mentioned that i did a murph yesterday so a murph is a mile run 100 pull-ups 200 push-ups 300 squats and then another mile run i did that yesterday except i did 50 pull-ups i did 100 push-ups 300 squats in a mile run. I was so proud. I felt amazing because I did seven minutes and 40 seconds for my second mile. I was so proud. I can't believe I did 50 pull-ups. I can't believe I did 100 push-ups. Like, I was just so proud. I felt so good. But anyways, I started my period yesterday and like nothing sounds good to me today. And like the first day is always like meh. Yesterday I was fine, but like today I'm like meh about everything yeah all i wanted was like i had my healthy air one dinner or lunch brunch whatever and it was great and i enjoyed it but like all i wanted for dinner was pizza but it was pouring it was it wasn't pouring it's been dumping rain all day and i think that also put a damper on my mood is this weather because it just makes you gloomy and sleepy but i just wanted a slice of freaking pizza and i was like i don't want to walk in this pouring dumping rain and didn't bring my umbrella i don't know i just didn't go and get pizza even though i genuinely just all i wanted was pizza I was not happy about my lunch or my dinner because all i genuinely wanted was pizza and it's like when you when you and your body, like I genuinely felt like my body just wanted some pizza. It just wanted a slice of pizza. And it's like when you, when your body is telling you exactly what it wants and you're like, no, I'm going to give you freaking salad. It's like, no, that's not what I wanted. So I'm going to make you feel like shit. I was like annoyed about the coffee shop. I was annoyed about the pizza situation. I was annoyed about my dinner. Then I started like cleaning manically. And then I was like, I'm so pissed off even like cleaning isn't helping which cleaning for me is typically therapy and i was like screw it i'm going downstairs to the home gym so i like went downstairs and i started walking on the treadmill and i watched a little bit of youtube and then i was like this is like my brain is still like rapid fire like it's just not it's not calming down like 
all of those like negative thoughts like I just I just felt like I started spiraling so then I took a yoga class I like went on my Melissa Wood Health app and I did a 19 minute yoga class and I was like damn I need to stretch I am not this is not not good I it felt it felt good like I felt I was just kind of like laying there for a minute I was like feel a little bit better I'm editing my video and I'm very happy in my video and I'm just like life is good calm down stop freaking out over nothing like I have a coaching call tomorrow at 8 so I think I'm gonna go to the gym after the coaching call have a productive morning just I'm praying and I'm just hoping that tomorrow I just wake up feeling a little bit better mentally because tonight I'm definitely going to bed with a heavy mind and that's it but <laughs> Thank you for, if you sat through, I'm looking at the time right now, it, this, I've been venting to you for eight minutes long. So if you sat through that, thank you so much. I appreciate you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And just know that if you ever have these like days where you feel like, oh, like complete crap about yourself, and, like you keep telling yourself, everything is good you try to motivate yourself you try to listen to sermons you try to listen to podcasts you try to do this 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 and that and nothing is helping still i feel like i did everything to try and make myself feel better today outside of actually going and getting the damn pizza i should have just gone and gotten the damn pizza but i feel like i did everything else right so and it, it still feels like not good like i did everything like i did 75 hard today i went to the gym today i worked i studied i cleaned i ate well like i feel like i ticked off all of my boxes and i'm still feeling like crap about myself if that's you if you feel like that if you have those days you're not alone and just know that tomorrow is a brand new day tomorrow you're gonna have a brand new opportunity to do better to be better to improve and that's what i'm telling myself right now i'm gonna wake up in the morning obviously <laughs> i'm gonna wake up early tomorrow i'm gonna meditate honestly i'm going to meditate first thing tomorrow i'm gonna set with myself i'm gonna set some intentions i'm gonna create a space for myself to come back to throughout the day that like if anything bothers me if anything irks me if anything pisses me off i can go back to that safe space that i create for myself first thing in the morning and I can just relax and have peace of mind because that's the one thing that I've learned through meditating is like meditating is a way for you to create a space for yourself to just be and to just be in silence with yourself it's just be in peace with yourself it's a way for you to set intentions it's a way for you to figure out how you want to show up in the day and in your life like when I was doing the Melissa Wood Health meditation she was like how do you want to show up today what do you want to like look like what do you want to portray yourself as and i just really like that tomorrow's gonna be a great day anyways like i said if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button for more content i hope you like this video and once again i appreciate you for watching this video i appreciate you for listening to me venting to you right now because i i actually really needed to vent clearly now that we're going on 12 minutes i appreciate you for being here and if you have made it through this video for this long comment an emoji any kind of emoji any kind of like happy smiley emoji because i need some positivity right now anyways i'm gonna finish up a little bit more work and i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you in the next vlog good night or have a great day if you're watching this in the daytime